One thing I want to make perfectly clear for this video is make sure that you follow your fishing regulations um, here in Illinois as long as it is not a catch and release body of water you can use bluegill as bait as long as you are using them on the body of water that you caught them so that being said make sure you follow those regulations size limits your creel limits um, how much you keep in your freezer everything make sure you know and follow those limits so that uh, we all can have fun out here on these lakes So what I got here is a slip bobber setup. I'm going to put a couple wax worms on there. Fish for some bluegills. Here in the uh, state of Illinois, you could use bluegill as bait as long as you use it on the same body of water that you caught it on. So it's been some tough times fishing here for bass, even though it's fall. Ball bite should be should be hot, but right now for whatever reason, the last week or so it's been uh, kind of slow. So we're gonna see if we can't get a bass or channel catfish or something like that with a bluegill. But we got to get the bluegill first. First panfish here. Pumpkin seed it looks like. Man, these guys really been taking my bait. It took me four or five tries to get this guy. put the bait on bluegill for first one a little smaller but we'll take this one since it's the first one we got what I like to do is I like to put it through its dorsal top pin right here just like that then all I was going to do is cast him out there and let him do all the work I got 14 pound on a filament on here. It's usually what I use when I'm fishing with bait, amount of filament. And we'll see if we can uh, get something to uh, chase after this thing. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get a big bass out of Van Patten Woods.
that's how you catch a bass when it's been tough. 20 inch bass, 4.5 pounds. Let's go at it again. I only got one bass um, today. It was a 20 incher though. If I was only to catch one bass all day, I'd be happy with a 20 incher. So I've only been out here for about two and a half hours. So that's not too bad. Anyways, hey, you know, thanks for watching. And as always, fish on.